I've been fasting for a long time. I can't wait to experience God in a really different way, in a deeper level, in a next level that I haven't seen before. I can't wait to encounter God. I didn't know this was ever going to happen in my lifetime, but it was very, very happy to to come to see a fast in person. It's, I believe it's going to be a very powerful event. I'm looking for a serious and deep encounter with the Holy Spirit, with Jesus, with God, and I don't want to live here the same way I came. I want to live like a totally transformed. I'm very humbled by the whole ministry, by the understanding, the enlightenment to become a better um, person on this earth. And I just want to thank the ministry. My expectations were going to answer my prayers. That's, a, that's why I'm here. The sound of revival. The sound of revival. The sound of revival. Mantles never go back to heaven. No, it's not recorded in scripture that any mantle return back. That means the mantle upon the fathers who walked upon America, Billy Graham, Reinhard Bonke, D. D. L. Moody, all of the great men, that mantle is still hovering around. But the problem is that the vessels, the vessels, the vessels, when you pray revival, don't ask God to come. It's not a wise prayer. Ask God to build the bride. The spirit is ready. Revivals do not have dates. Revival is ready to happen the day the bride is prepared. And um, when Apostle was ministering to people with eye conditions, I released my faith and I believed that I would leave here with my eyes healed and I looked up and I could read the Dickies Arena sign. It was not blurry. Yesterday at some point during the service, I was healed. I didn't even notice it. And then after the service, I was checking myself. I almost sprained myself trying to check to make sure that I was really healed. And I can just move my leg. I've had no pain at all. You think the spirits over America are that powerful? No. It is the powerlessness of the saints that has made the spirits causing mayhem. You believe me on that? Read the book of Daniel. You will see one man, one man who used his passion and fervency, held the spirits that control the Medes and the Persians. A parliament had to come up with a policy because a man's spiritual life became a threat to darkness. One man. One last thing. We are winning souls for Jesus. Hey, this is Koinonia. Take the fire to your offices. Take the fire to your businesses. Take the fire to your churches. Take the fire in the name of Jesus. For the north, the south, the east, and the west of the United States, let revival fire burn. In every church, let it burn. In every street, let it burn. I come as one sent in the name of the Lord. Let there be an apostolic community forged out of fire. Where are the new generation red hat bunkers arise? The new generation TL Osborns arise. The new generation Billy Grahams arise. Catherine Coleman's arise. In the name of Jesus Christ.